So let's have a look at lab two, which focuses on Ethernet, IP and TCP. So what we're going to do is we're going to examine some traces for Ethernet, IP and TCP, and then we're going to capture our own traffic. So the first place we're going to look is here. And we'll just open up the Wireshark trace. And what we'll do is we'll just put them side by side so that they can actually see what the questions are. Okay, so what we have is a connection from a client to a server. So we can see here, there's the syn, synac, and ac. So the client is at the address 192.168.75.1 and in this case the server is at this address here. Okay, so the host source address is 192.168.75.1 and the server IP address is at 75.132. They're on the same network, so we're not going through any gateways and so on. So which host port has the server used? The server is using, the client is using 2427. And the server, the server in this case is using port 80. What's the MAC address of the server? Well, what we'll see is the we can see it from the from the ARP request. The reply that comes back is actually from the server. So the MAC address that comes back is this one here that ends in A3 but what we'll also see is when anything comes back from the server it will have its source address as the 000C290F71 A3 so that's the MAC address of the server we can determine it because we're not going through a, a gateway What's the MAC address of the host contact in the server? Well, we can look in the Ethernet again, and here we see the source address 005056C00008. Identify the SYN, SYNAC, and we can see it's these three packets here. And in packet 1, what's the destination MAC address? We well, can see the destination MAC address is all Fs, which is a broadcast address. Okay, so let's look at the next trace. So in the next trace, the a host is accessing the Google web server. So we'll be going through a, a gateway this time. So the host address we'll see. The host address is 192.168.0.20. It initiates the SYN. And the server IP address is 90.203.99.45. The port, TCP port that the host is using is port 3404. And the destination port, the port the server uses, is port 80. Can we determine the MAC address of the server? And the quick answer is no, because we're going through a gateway. It's not on the same network. We can only determine the MAC address of the gateway. So what's the IP address of the gateway? Well, for us to be able to communicate, uh, with the, the remote website, we send a, an ARP for request for uh, for the for a server, and it responds back with the MAC address of the gateway. So what we should see when we communicate is the destination address that we use is 00184DB0D68C is the MAC address of the gateway. 
and already it's determined that it's a net gear as the manufacturer. Okay, so can we identify the sin and synac? So we can see sin here. We're actually seeing two connections here. Okay, so sin, synac, and ac is the connection here. So what we'll do now is we'll, we'll capture some data packets. And what I'll do is I'll put it on to the, the virtual adapter. I'll just clear that. And we'll just open up VMware. We'll just start up one of the servers. of the server forty seven dot one three two So this is as we've uh, been, we've communicated with the instance. So we should be able to see our communication here. So there's our ARP, and here we go. Here we see the SYN, SYNAC, and ACK. Okay, so in this case, uh, our MAC address is, is this. Our IP address in this case is 192.168.47.1 MAC address of the gateway So the MAC address of the gateway will be this because it's the that's the destination address that's actually used And then for the ports, in this case the port number is 141731 and the, de the, the server port is port 80 in this case Okay, so this is showing an example of Ethernet, IP and TCP.